Hi guys, welcome to the second part of the tutorial series on uh, LV table development in WebDem for App App. In this tutorial, we will look at uh, how do we do the external contextual mapping dynamically, that is programmatically. Okay. Now, if you remember, in the last tutorial, we have done, uh, we have mapped this LV two to the data node, and we also done uh, mapping between the view context node and the component controller node and then we have filled uh, in the init method of the view we written some application logic and filled the context node of the view and that's how we, uh, we, we were able to see some data in the table now let's remove all these bindings and see what happens okay, sorry. Okay, I'm going to first remove the external context node mapping right click here and say delete external mapping okay I'll go back to the view and I'll also delete uh, the mapping between view and component controller nodes Let's activate. Refresh the application. So I don't see anything here because uh, you know we've removed all the mappings, so SAP doesn't know, system doesn't know what structure that it has to follow when. Um, it displays the table on the screen right now we'll do that programmatically so we'll go to the init method of the view and uh, use a method called set data from the component usage go to the code wizard select the method call in component controller select the component usage here and uh, there is a method called set set data S just say okay and here uh, if you see this method as one mandatory parameter we need to pass the reference to the node context node right we already have that uh, you know when we did in the last tutorial when we uh, uh, filled in the node context node with some data we have already got the reference here so I'll just pass that okay and uh, before we execute the application we have to do one more thing go back to the code widget again and there's something called instantiate used component select this and select the component uses name that is ALV used to and set ok okay now we're done with the coding let's activate this refresh the application so we have the table so it's as good as you know uh, doing all those mappings at design time right so we're doing those mappings at the runtime that's the only difference now we can also do uh, you know in a different way let's say I have multiple nodes in the context it's ALV2 and ALV3. Now the ALV2 refers to structure YMovie1STR which has like six fields and I've created another node called ALV3 which refers to YMovie2STR this has three fields. Right. Now I want to bind uh, I want to do the external contextual mapping based on uh, some action. So let's create a button in the layout I'll say display LV3. Okay. Let's 
say click as action handler we'll go to the action handler and I'll first fill in the node ALV3 node Let some select statement as we did for uh, ALV2. Mm, there's a table I've created with some data why movie 2 Right, so I filled the data. Now we use the set method again for uh, doing the external contextual mapping. Okay. data so the here the node reference I have to pass a reference to the ALV3 node that is LOND ALV3 okay cool now there's one difference that uh, I want you guys to keep in mind here um, I'm not doing a component use instantiation here like if you see if you go to the init method apart from adding this piece of code I've also added this piece of code here to instantiate the component usage because uh, you know uh, when, this, when the control comes to init method the component usage is not instantiated, instantiated. so uh, if you don't write this code uh, this code will not work but for the action handler method we don't need that code because uh, the instantiation has already been done by the system so I'll just activate the code Let's refresh the application now. Okay, now I have a button. So the init method, when we refresh it, the init method gets executed, and uh, we are seeing ALV2 node data here at right, six columns. Now, if I click on this button, the action handler kicks in, and the code in the action handler gets executed. So, what I've written in the action handler is I've written that I've told the system to bind the external context node the data node of the client component to the ALV3 node which has like three columns so we see three columns here so that's how uh, we can dynamically uh, you know um, change the node mappings uh, I would like I would also like to you know demo for instance if we have a context node a external node mapping at design time right now I don't have any mapping at design time let's do a mapping of ALV2 with design type. Okay, so I've done external condition mapping and I'll also map uh, the view and the component controller nodes. Okay, so so we, we're we're coming back to the you know what we did in tutorial one. We're mapping uh, the external mapping and we're mapping the view and the component controller nodes. So we don't uh, need the you know set set data method code in the init method now because we've done that at design time. So I'll just remove comment out all this code here. Okay. but I'm going to keep the code in the action handler as it is. So ALV2 node is mapped at design time to the data node. ALV3 node is mapped to the data node programmatically at the runtime. So let's see what happens. Oh sorry, I think I've not activated this. Okay, so when we refresh the application, init method you know, kicks in, and as we did uh, 
LV2 mapping at design time. So we're seeing LV2. Now once I uh, start the action handler, I see LV3. So which means we can overwrite whatever node mapping that is there in the design time. We can overwrite that uh, using the set data method. Okay. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye bye.